This is the second time the Chief of Defense Staff, General Lucky Irabo, will be meeting executives and editors of media organizations in Nigeria. And top on the agenda of the meeting is the need for synergy between the armed forces and the media. The recent security breaches across the country, including the federal capital territory, have increased tension among the citizens. But the military believes some successes have been recorded in the fight against criminality. It is in recognition of, your, of the key role of the media that the leadership of the armed forces of Nigeria will continue to seek you and engage with you. In June this year, armed men attacked St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo, in Ondo State, opening fire on worshippers and killing at least 40 people, with scores of others injured. Two months after the attack, there appears to be good news, as disclosed by the Chief of Defense Staff. I'd like to very heartwarmingly heart present to you that we've done quite a lot, and it's my pleasure to also let you know, that starting with the or what church attack, we have arrested those behind that dastardly act. <laughs> On the 7th of August, Idris Ojo, who is 32 years old, was apprehended at Ayetoro City in the States. He is one of the high profile. Islamic State in West Africa probing terrorists that escaped from UJ prison. Alongside with him is Jimo Ibrahim, who is a 39 years old criminal, who was also arrested. While fielding questions from the media executives, he gives assurances on the security for a peaceful conduct of the 2023 general elections. I join, you know, to, to, um, to encourage and, of course, to, to assure, at least from the uh, uh, military side, that the 2023 general elections certainly not only will you hold, we will do everything to ensure that nothing stops it. The outcome of this media parley is expected to shape future interaction between the media and the military authority. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.